Alright guys, we're talking about the best time of day to exercise. Some of you may be thinking, Matt, I can barely get the exercise in I want every single day. And you're right, for most of us it's going to be a matter of schedule, we fit in the exercise where it fits in with the rest of our lives. And as a caveat, above all, consistency is key and it really doesn't matter when you exercise as long as you're exercising. If you're getting out there for your run, if you're doing it on a consistent basis, you are going to see gains. But let's say you're one of the rare people out there that have any time of the day to choose when you can go for that run. Let's say you're on vacation for a couple of weeks and you get to choose the best possible time to work out for your health. I'm gonna tell you the best parts of working out in the morning, tell you the best parts of working out in the afternoon or early evening, and believe it or not, it's backed by science. So it's legit. You can really choose when the best time of the day to work out is. Let's pause for a very quick running montage from this morning's run. This morning's run, I did run in the morning, was 11.4 miles or 18.35 kilometers at an average pace of 7.39 a mile, which is 4.45 a kilometer. Now that's average. Beginning miles were slower, ending miles were quicker, probably because I warmed up as the run went on. We'll get back to that. I've already said the best time of the day to go for your run is whatever time you can get it in, but that's a bit of a cop out. That's not why you're here. So let's start with the morning. The benefits of running in the morning start with consistency. People that usually run in the morning are more consistent because they're making that their first priority. They're making that the first thing they do. So nothing else down the line in the day can get in the way. If you're anything like me, when you get home from work, you're a bit tired. You don't really feel like going for a run. That's when getting that run in in the morning can really pay off. I know it's a pain to wake up early, earlier than you have to, to get that run in, but it may help you sleep better and your body will get used to it. So if you wake up just that little bit earlier, you may be tired earlier in the evening, which means you'll go to bed earlier. Now I know you might be saying, but Matt, I don't want to go to bed early, but I would wager the majority of you watching this would rather go to bed early and get up for your run. And you know, there has been a study that shows that morning workouts can boost deep sleep. If you like getting deep sleep, give this video a thumbs up right now. Next, you may burn more fat by running in the morning. And why is this? Well, it's because you're running in a fasted state. You're not burning those carbs, so your body has to burn fat for fuel. Other research has shown that the afterburn lasts a bit longer. So you might burn more calories over the course of the day if you work out in the morning. Now, put a pin in that because we're gonna come back to the whole fat burning thing later on when we talk about afternoon and evening workouts. And my favorite part of working out in the morning is that it boosts your mood, or it can boost your mood. At least it boosts my mood. Even if I have a bad day, I have already got that run in. I've already done something productive. That's not all rainbows and unicorns. Running in the morning, there are some drawbacks to it. So one of them is that you may be running low on fuel. You may be hungry. You're running in a fasted state. You haven't eaten since the night before. Then you're going and doing physical activity. You might not perform to your potential because you just don't have that fuel in your body. Now I know you could eat a small snack, a small meal, packed with carbs before your morning run just to give you that energy push going out the door but then that negates one of the benefits which is increased fat burn from running in a fasted state i'm not helping now if you set an alarm to wake up early in the morning one of the downsides is that you may interrupt deep sleep i know matt you just told us that running in the morning can promote deep sleep well it does promote it until it doesn't so if you set an alarm you may be interrupting that deep sleep and let me tell you, because I have to set an alarm five out of seven days of the week, when I interrupt a sleep cycle and I wake up and I have that sleep inertia where you're just feeling like you're feeling bad for the first couple minutes that you wake up, it's not fun. Another downside to working out in the morning, and again, if you agree with this, give this video a thumbs up. Your physical performance isn't at its peak. Not many people wake up and get out of bed feeling nimble and ready to go. It takes a little while to warm up, and if you get out the door, without adequately warming up those first couple miles, they might not be the best miles that you've ever run. And in the morning, it takes longer for you to warm up. Your core body temperature is at its lowest when you get up in the morning. So you wanna give yourself time to kind of warm up and that'll help your run feel better. Make sure you are making time to do a dynamic warm up before each of your morning runs, before each of your runs. And I promise you that is the best thing you can do to make your runs feel better. Even if you do warm up before a run, you never make any decisions in the first mile. You don't make any decisions about your run in the first mile. The first mile never feels great. Let's move right along to afternoon and evening workouts. This is a good one. People perform better in the afternoon and evening. Research backs this up, my friends. Muscle strength, flexibility, power, output, and endurance are all better in the afternoon. And this starts with your body being warmer as you go into your workout. You've had a whole day for your body to warm up. Now you still have to do dynamic warm-ups before you go out to your run. 
but you're not starting at scratch. You're starting a little further up. Perhaps you've had a very stressful day at work. Perhaps you've had a very stressful day doing something else. Running can help relieve stress. And if you run in the afternoon or evening, that helps blow off the stress from the whole day. Go out there and just enjoy your run and let it have it. Let's be honest, some of us may have some unhealthy habits in the afternoon and evening. Snacking, drinking, spending too much time on YouTube, going for a run can replace all of those things. Again, running in the afternoon and evening isn't all rainbows and unicorns. It could interfere with your sleep. Now, there are studies that show that people do sleep better if they work out at the end of the day. It's like you're getting to exhaustion and you can just fall into bed. However, if you do high intensity activities like a HIIT workout, you're running intervals, that kind of thing, that can leave your heart rate jacked and it can make falling asleep a bit of a problem. For me, I've experienced that the most. There are very few races that I will do in the afternoon and evening, but occasionally there's a couple of races throughout the year that are in the evening. And I know that when I go to those races and I come home, I am just, I'm wired. I am not ready to go to sleep for a long time and it interferes with my sleep. Of course, I'm just one person and I've already told you I'm a morning runner. So that probably has a lot to do with it. I'm just getting out of my comfort zone and it interferes with my sleep because I'm not used to it. You may be different. Let me know what you prefer, morning or afternoon or evening runs, right in the comments below. Science, don't you just love it? So there was a 2019 study that showed men with type two diabetes that worked out in the afternoon, they were doing some HIIT workouts on a bike. They substantially improved their blood sugar control after two weeks of those workouts than the subjects that worked out in the morning. Now it isn't just about high intensity activity, this also counts for moderate activity. There was another study that was done for a different reason that realized that they had tracked when their participants came to do this study. So they gave their study participants the choice of when to come in and do their rides. They were still studying the same thing. They were studying the effect of moderate exercise on men with type two diabetes. When they then went back and they looked at the data, they saw when the people came in. They found that after 12 weeks, the men who had come and rode moderately in the afternoon had a substantially better insulin sensitivity than those who had come and ridden in the morning. Okay, and get this, even though the workouts were exactly the same and only based on the time of day, the men that came to do their moderate ride in the afternoon lost more belly fat than those who worked out in the morning. Now I know this study was only men, I know it was riding and not running, and the effort level was only moderate, not a low or a super high, but I think it is safe to say that you will lose more weight working out in the afternoon than in the evening. Now I realize I'm just a, just a YouTuber, just a YouTuber that likes to talk about running, but I do enjoy taking wild jumps and interpreting scientific explanations that fit my own agenda and the agenda of what I think you guys wanna hear. So in a nutshell, yeah, you lose more weight running in the afternoon. Now, of course, we don't know why this happens or why it's true or why Matt says it's true, but the professor that did the study does suggest that perhaps it's because Working out in the afternoon helps us metabolize our last meal of the day. So for me, working out in the morning, I'm getting my metabolism jumped up first thing in the morning. By the time I come to dinner at the end of the day and then I go to bed, my metabolism has likely fallen just a bit. Whereas if I worked out, say, an hour or two before I eat dinner, my metabolism is gonna be all revved up and it's gonna help process that and everything that goes in with it. What do you think? You're a morning or an afternoon runner? Let me know in the comments below. New running videos at least twice a week. Be kind, be happy, run well. See you in a couple of days.